Hello everybody, we are going to check out Dwarf Fortress today. Call it a Christmas present to myself. I found a, a little prepaid card from years ago that, uh, that I took, took up uh, the opportunity to tr check out the game. I'm under the impression I'm either going to love this, love the hell out of this game, or not be able to stand it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I have heard nothing but amazing things about this game. Um, I've had lots of people suggest it to me way before the Steam release happened. Lots of people recommending this game to me. Um, so we're going to jump in, and I have no idea how to play. I've watched no gameplay, nothing. So feel free if you're watching this in the future to uh, tell me how to play. You know, a little bit of back seating's fine. Create new world. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth deep in the mountains. As you dig deeper and more citizens take up residence in your outpost, your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with challenges as they arise and you might one day find that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home. The center of your civilization. I mean, that in itself sounds really fun. Um, I, we're gonna start small, I guess? Oh geez, how long should you go history? How long of a history should you have? 100 years of history. I guess maybe just for the depth of it? Like, I mean, like it probably starts on like, I'm gonna guess on like the lower end of things for most of the settings. For like standard, maximum number of sites, medium. Number beast, medium. Medium? Medium? I don't know. We'll, I mean, I have a feeling our first world's just going to get absolutely destroyed quickly, right? Natural savagery. Mineral occurrences everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Again, I have never played this game, never watched any content on the game. I've just been told amazing things about the game. Okay. Oh, when you do that, it brings up all this stuff. Okay. Oh, you can go all the way up to 500 years history. Isn't that amazing? And we're on medium-sized world. I mean, let's just go in with the sizes that it's given us. I really don't know. So let's just let's just do it and see how terrible this goes. I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous see how the hell this is going to play out. I'm not going to lie. And I think, I, I hope there's a bit of a tutorial in the game because like I literally have no clue what I'm doing. And I know this is like a very like deep game. Recounting legends, the age of myth. We're going through our hundred years. The bridged chronicle. Look at all this stuff. Well, you can like pause it and read everything, I guess. Can you? I wonder if you can read it later. Solitary luxuries of maybe you can read it in the future. I hope you can, because this is like interesting stuff. Twenty-eight thousand four hundred and seventy-seven events. Okay, that's a lot of events, isn't it? And you generating. Okay, it just keeps on going. I hope I can read the whole, like, the whole history somewhere. That's insane. Okay, to recenter, press that. Okay. Or hold and drag middle of the mouse. What the hell is going on? I guess it's not going to let me read all this. Canyon of Permancies, the untamed spear found in key phrase. There's a lot of crazy stuff, isn't there? Okay, how do we, how do, what do we do? So we're going to center our game. Of course, there we go. That looks pretty centered. 
Um, play now? Let me go over all this. It shows you like what you're over top of, I guess. What type of world you're over or what type of like terrain. Okay. Play now. Hopefully I can look at the history. It would be nice to be able to like read through the whole thing. Maybe on a world that isn't just going to get destroyed right away because I suck. Saving history. Okay. Okay. Select a game type to begin. Okay, so they're still like, I mean, they're still adding to the game, right? To a fortress, right? Oh, boy. Passing a few weeks to get things ready. Aha! Start tutorial. We start the tutorial. Uh, quick start or a short tutorial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like your fortress located in a forested, mineral-rich region of this world where you can play through a short tutorial? Non-interactive help will be available. Whatever you decide. Um, a million percent I do short tutorial because I have no clue what we're doing. Okay. Here we are. A dwarven outpost. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven make an outpost for the glory of all umen locum there are almost no supplies left but with stout labor comes sustenance whether by bolt plow or hook provide for your dwarves you are expected a supply uh, you are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you but it is spring now enough time to delve secure lodgings Ere the dingoes get hungry. Yeah. Okay. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Mr. Mal Malmosh. Yes. Port Portal Gleam. Strike the earth. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. Now, camera controls. That's just this. Hey, Glitch, how you doing? How you doing? So we move our camera with that, right? You, do, your view is focused on on one elevation at a time. To move the camera around, press WASD or hold the middle mouse button to drag view. Ah, right now I'm kind of happy with this. But we want, I don't want to lose these guys. To change the camera's elevation, press E and C or roll the mouse wheel. Oh, wow. Okay, I rolled it and I'm like way the hell out. What, why does it look like my guys are underwater? Uh, <laughs> when your view is in the air above other tiles, you can see them below, but you can only interact with objects in your current elevation. Oh. Am I like, am I like through them? No idea what elevation I'm supposed to be at. I have no idea what I'm doing. You got to meet the voice of James and Brooke from the original anime today. Both character are voiced by the same person. Well, that's cool. Ah, there we go. Okay, I, I, I got there. Well, elevation 46 is where our people are standing. That's pretty cool glitch. Uh, the view will be dark underground until you begin mining. You can move the camera to the surface with the surface button highlighted. Okay, so the F1 hotkey will recenter on your wagon Brock I don't even know what anime you're talking about the F1 hotkey okay you can zoom in and out of the play area oh a Pokemon gotcha well, that's pretty cool Zoom in and out of the play area using wow, I that's a lot of that's a lot of keys, isn't it? That or control and mouse wheel. Zoom in and out of the play area. So control and the mouse wheel? 
I'm zooming out. Okay, that that's better. Okay, I like that. Okay, that's that's fine. That's good. I like that. That's good, yeah. Time is ticking too while I'm doing this, so I'm sure people are gonna just die while I'm reading this tutorial. Maybe I should maybe I should pause it, but it hasn't taught me how to pause time. <laughs> it hasn't taught me how to pause time yet, guys. Mining, it's time to get to work. Let's start by digging a stairwell into the ground. There may be plenty of hillside to dig into, but you'll want to seek wealth below the surface. Mining tasks are designated on the play area. Begin by clicking the highlighted mining button. Oh, this one here. That's our mining button. Hotkey M. Stair mining? Okay. There are several ways to mine. Stairwell selected. Start at one elevation and are completed at the next. Click the surface. Move the camera down one level and click the underground. Reversing the order also works. Okay. Well, we'll see how we do this. So if I click the surface, right? So we clicked, right? Now I go, eh. That's not it. That's not it. I, I went up, didn't I? Eh. Uh, how do I end it? How do I end the stairway? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What, what am I doing? If I've got it started, how do I end it? It wants me to move underground, which I did. Move the camera down level and click the underground. Well, I did. Well, I did do that. I did. What's your problem, man? Six, uh, there were six different celebrities. I also got to say hi to the person who voices Gyro Earphone Jack from My Hero. Oh, no, it doesn't come off as bragging at all. It's cool. How the hell do I do this? I'm, I'm stuck in the tutorial. I'm stuck in the tutorial. I can't get this to end the stairway. Doing it what it's telling me to do. And click the underground. Move the camera down. And click the underground. Well, I did. Must span multiple elevations. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I wasn't reading the thing. Okay, so we had to go. We had to go a, uh, another one down. Okay, now we'll unpause the game and let the miner finish the task. Press the space to unpause or use highlighted controls at the top of the screen. You should pause regularly. Starting out, yeah, no kidding. Pause. Are they just gonna, are they done? Are they done? I guess they're done. So now we have a staircase going down two elevations. Moving away from me, how are you? Are you excited for Hades? Oh, I'm extremely excited for Hades too. I'm so excited for Apollo. I have no one that I'm specifically excited for, but I mean, like, I'm excited for the game. I don't get attached to the characters that much. Never have in anything that much. Uh, let's make a safe place to work. Select regular mining mode. To the left of the stair. Uh, to the left of stair mining mode. Okay. Oh, this is just regular mining. Okay. Dig a rectangle underground big enough for a large stockpile and some workshops. Consider that most workshops are three by three squares. Mining through the stones, stone layers further down may take longer, but it leaves boulders, which are essential building material. Later, you can consider making a meeting area from the zones. Or from the zones menu. Otherwise, your citizens will continue to gather by the wagon outside. So we have to keep on making things down, obviously. Yeah, Apollo's one of the one of the new new uh, characters in the in the game. I am controlling a dwarf society kind of thing. Essentially, that's the idea. But I have no idea what I'm doing, and it's a very in-depth game, so I'm just learning. Uh, later you can consider making a meeting area. Okay, so we're gonna make like a, we're gonna make a, 
like a do I do I have to do it like right next to the stairs or will they just like go to it? No? Will they just completed room? Euro of twenty. Like I wonder if I have to where I have to do it from. Like will they go to this or do I have to like mine a hallway to it? I don't know. Well, it looks like now, okay, there we go. So we're like, we're, we're cutting. Okay, it says room completed. It's calling this a room. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have just done like a room here. I didn't know. There's a cat. Did it just shit in my house? What is this? Is that cat shit? If you're able to name villagers, would you do seven dwarves? Just, just for giggles. Oh, these are boulders. These are boulders. Okay, we figured we're, we're, we're getting there. Okay. So let's just like make this like three bigger, right? Because we can. And that's that. So now we know how to mine. I don't know how to do this. We're going to uh, hopefully we'll get more, but I'll likely dive pretty early in this game. The supplies of the, on the wagon are in danger of being carried off by wild creatures. It's time to build a stockpile underground to unload them. Stockpiles are crucial to moving supplies around your fortress where they are needed. Stockpiles are placed with the stockpile button. Well, isn't that handy dandy? Okay, well, let's move them underground. We have entered stockpile mode. You click the add button and click the two corners of the rectangle somewhere. What? Oh boy, I'm going to be so screwed. <laughs> I'm going to be so screwed. Hopefully people that know how to play the game come in and are like, Hey, this is how you play the game, you moron. <laughs> how did you like the game? I did not watch. The only thing I watched was Hades. I was streaming during the game awards. Um, stockpiles can be placed both on the surface and underground. Well, it doesn't make sense to place them on the surface, does it? Click accept and select all options. Yeah, I never really get too invested in the game awards, to be honest. I saw, I did, actually, I lied. I watched the end and, and half of the games that were nominated for game of the year, I didn't feel like should have been nominated for game of the year. I just kind of like rolled my eyes. Um, so click the add button. What am I, what am I adding? What am I adding? Click the add button. I'm lost. Click the add button and click the two corners of a rectangle somewhere safe to place your pile. Okay. Oh, like that. do that um huh. <laughs> i feel like such a bot um click the add button and click the like two corners of a rectangle place your pile well i just did that is that my pile it looks like a thing no, I totally did not do that right. Okay. Start painting a new stockpile. Once the tiles are chosen, you'll be able to set the details. Oh. Okay, left click to choose corners of rectangle. Is that it? Am I done? I just chose the corners of a rectangle. Hold left button to draw. What the fuck am I doing? Why would I? Why would I put a stockpile like that? I need an adult. Click in the play area to paint the stockpile. Well, is that not good enough? I 
Except. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Crisis averted. Holy shit. Um, I have... I, I mean, it could be. To me, it doesn't make sense that uh, with the line, with the way that it lines up, that Kronos would show up in the second one, unless it's a prequel. Um, but I mean, like they can do whatever the hell they want. I guess we just click all, all. Hey, we did it! We got through stage three of the tutorial. This is gonna be like a tutorial stream, guys. I'll get through the tutorial. That'll be it. Uh, if unpaused. Right, because Kronos is uh, Hades' dad. He's the big daddy. If unpaused, your worker should start unloading the wagon. I really shouldn't have been unpaused that entire time. Into the stockpile. Later, you may want to customize your stockpile by clicking on them and pressing the custom button to forbid certain categories. Why are there bumblebees in here? Well, that's bad. You better pause that while I'm reading this shit. Um, that's not good that there's bumblebees just flying around in my stockpile. I bet I bet someone's going to die. For all I know, half my people are dead. Um, so, later you may want to customize your stockpiles by clicking on them and pressing the custom button to forbid certain categories. Okay. So you don't like necessarily... So maybe you control your stockpiles and make it more like organized. Like refuse, for example. Separate refuse stockpile is good. Refuse. Refuse? Refuse? English is hard. Is a good idea to keep your fortress clean. That makes sense. I thought these were turds, but I think uh, now I think they're boulders. If the stockpile menu is still open, you can close it now by right-clicking. Ah! I did that one easy. Right-clicking... And always be used to close most menus, as well as escape. God, we're moving on to number four. Number four, with shelter ready underground. This is my shelter, apparently. It's time to build. First, you need building materials like wood or boulders. We have two boulders. Before you start chopping down trees, you may want to create a dedicated wood stockpile. Haulers will also drop wood in all your... Wait... In your all stockpile. So this is my all one. Unless you turn it off in the custom stockpile menu. When you are ready, open the wood cutting menu. Designate the trunk. So maybe I should make a... Well, like, I mean, shouldn't I just, like, make a second stockpile? Like, one that is, like, for wood? Like, it says make a dedicated... You may want to create a dedicated wood stockpile. Why wouldn't I do that? Why would I not just make a dedicated wood one? Right? Like, why not just, like, um... Go like this? Huh? Go like that? Be like, yeah, accept. And be like, um... Wood. And that's it. Right? Yeah. I think that's... That makes sense. I mean, they did two squares, but whatever the hell. There's... They're siblings. Um. Okay, so we've done that. We made a we needed like a little spot for wood. When you are ready, open the woodcutting menu. Designate the trunk of a tree on the surface. Oh boy, going back up, going back up. Here we are. There's doges or are these dingoes? I don't think those are doges. I think those be dingoes. This guy looks more like a zombie than a dwarf. Um, when you're ready, open the woodcutting menu and designate the trunk of a tree on the surface. Make sure your woodcutter can walk to the designated location. Oh boy. So we got trees all over here, right? These are just trunks of trees. Zag is, uh, is her older uh, brother. I've taken a look at the final evolutions for the Scarlet and Violet Stars, and I'm actually impressed that they went for that stage play theme. Like Phantom of the Opera? I have no clue. No clue. 
No clue, Crevice. How you doing? So we click on this, and then we designate a tree trunk? We just, like, go, like, a kaboom? I guess so. I have designated. Now, who's my woodcutter? Down tree. It doesn't matter. Someone just chopped the shit out of this. Yeah. Up down tree. Okay. Now, our, oh, hi, 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 hey, hey. Let's go back down here. Make sure that this looks like it makes sense. Wood piled where the wood belongs. Oh my god. Tom knows what the hell's going on. I know what the hell's going on. There's going to be people that have like thousands of hours in this game that are going to watch this probably at some point. And they're going to be like, dude, this was painful. I mean, like, fuck, I, you're telling me I had to play it. Uh, main complaint I've heard from those games is performance issues. From what games? From the Pokemon games? I haven't heard a damn thing about them. <laughs> Other than I think they're considered to be better. Uh, now that you have the build better than the last ones building materials it's time to start building workshops are one of many buildings you can place with the highlighted build button wait do we build it above ground and building workshop most ta i feel like everything should be underground we're dwarves here bloody hell most tasks in the fortress are started and completed at workshops. Tasks generally require more raw materials, and most workshops are constructed from boulders, blocks, or wood. Okay. Require building materials such as wood or boulders. If you have some wood stockpiled, you'll be able to place a carpenter's workshop. Click workshops, carpenter, and place the shop in an empty area on the surface or underground. You're too impatient when it comes to, th to these types of games. I like chit-chatting and reading stuff, so it doesn't bother me. Um, Screw it. Let's go. You know what? Let's go up. Let's go up. Jobs? Yeah, I'm, I've, I've been slowly adding them. Slowly. Gently. Adding them. Uh, what were we doing? A carpenter's workshop? The carpenter's workshop? Oh, look, it's actually like it comes with the size. Isn't that brilliant? Select material after placement. Well, it's just like, you know, just like throw it right here on the ocean. Wait a second. Do this. When unpaused, a worker should now build the workshop. We're putting a workshop over here. We'll do we'll do the first one above. You like them? Yeah, there's a couple of Despots game ones in there. A couple of me. One for we who are about to die. Alright, someone someone do the thing. We're building a workshop. Building a wooden workshop. Well done, team. Well done. We have a workshop. Click the workshop. Definitely need to pause the game. Your industrious uh, citizens will perform any task added to the workshop. Most objects that are placed, like doors and furniture, must first be built in a workshop. You know, I feel really unsafe with this amount of water right next to our home base, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, doors, furniture must uh, first be built in a workshop. Makes sense. Furniture created at the carpenter's workshop usually takes one wood to build. Add a task and make a bed. I'm going to have to chop a bunch of trees down. Chop down more trees if necessary. Unpause and wait for the bed to be completed. They didn't give a release date. Just probably sometime in 2023 and it's going to be early access. If I had to guess, likely on... Likely... I, I think... Actually, I don't know. I can't say. I was going to say probably on uh, Epic, but I don't know. Where, wherever their early access was on when they did the first one. Well, 
Well, I've already maxed out all of Hades, the first Hades on my Switch and on my Xbox, so they've got nothing left. So we're going to make a bed. Um, work orders? How does one make said bed? Add a new task. Make a menacing wooden spike. Make a bed, make a bed, make a bed, make a bed. Where's the beds? I don't see a bed anywhere here. Oh, make bed. <laughs> there it is. Make bed. Make bed. Ah, well done. He, is he like actually making the bed? I don't know if I have the stuff I need. Place bed. Okay. Now place the bed. Now that you have a bed. Yeah, it had early access for like two years. Yeah, it was in early access for a couple years. Use the build menu to place it in a room underground, just like the workshop. Oh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna have to make a room. Dig a new room first, if you like. Beds are found in the furniture category. Unlike workshops, beds must be placed underground. Okay. So can I just like get out of that? Okay, thank you very much. All right, so we're gonna have to go digging. We're gonna dig a new. We're gonna dig a little, a little, uh, little place here. Right? Dig a room. Just like go here. Little hallway, you know, little hallway action. Why not? And then off of this, we'll we'll make like a a nice sizable bedroom. I'm sure this is safe. Somebody get down here and dig this dig this out. Someone get the get the bees out of the thing. Thank you very much. She's working on building this bed. The big Oh crap. She's dead. She's gonna die. She's gonna die for sure. She's we're we're gonna have some troubles. I wouldn't expect the full release of Hades 2 until 2025. be honest anything before that would be a surprise although maybe I'm wrong because they've got the groundwork laid right with the first one the first one was in early access for two years this one isn't even going into early access until 2023 Um, so beds are found in the furniture thingy, Majiki. Where's that? Where's my furniture thingy? The plants. Smoothing rock. Where's the furniture thing? Oh, let's pause that. What am I missing? Where's the furniture thing? Where's the furniture tab? Chopping trees. They're just up there chopping? That's fine. Where is the furniture thing? What am I missing here? Beds are found in the furniture category. Is that like over here? I apologize, I don't really know what I'm doing still. Open the place information menu? How's that? Labor menu, work orders menu. Where's the furniture thingy? Any works? No. That's chopping, gathering. I haven't got a damn clue where I find my furniture. This is a stockpile. Somebody help me. I haven't got a clue. If I go back above ground. They're 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 sleepy. Oh shit. They're they're they be sleepy. Oh, it's right here. 
Add new task. I'm going to tell him to make another bed. And another bed. <laughs> Not that I know what I'm doing, but we're, we're so a sand pair wood bed like. How do I place the damn bed? Oh, use the build menu. Where the hell's the build menu? Is this the build menu? This is the dig menu. This has got to be it. The B for build, I have to assume. Doors, hatches, construction, workshops, furniture, furniture. Bed. Oh my god, we figured it out. Oh, my, I'm so smart. Bed. Bed. Yeah. So did I... Wait, 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 wait. Place this bed. So someone's going to have to come down here and be like, yeah, I'm putting it down there. Yeah, we did one. Let's go. This guy's like, yeah, I'm going to sleep in that damn bed. Beauty. Well done. Well done, team. Uh, with a bed placed, your workers will have somewhere to sleep. Later, you can create a room with a door and use the zones menu to assign an official bedroom for each. Oh, crap. I'm th I'm building like all these beds thinking I'm just going to like give them all one room. These are civilized dwarves. They each want their own room. Jeez, man. Okay. The rest of the interface is now enabled. Oh, goody. You can click on creatures and items just as you can click on buildings to get more information about them. Click on a resident to see their needs. Inventory, thoughts, relations, and more. You can also access information from the citizens button. Click citizen or creature. There's a citizen. Who's this? A most Kiradaten expedition leader. This is our this is our guy. He's 61 years old. He's got a lover, tossed slapped seals. Feel free to pause and check out the information. Right click to dismiss the information sheet. Yeah, I want to read a little bit of it though. I kind of want to understand it. So it tells you everything. I've been rained on, it's annoying. She is annoyed when caught in the rain. She felt fondness talking with a friend, and she felt lustful talking with a lover. <laughs> I like this. She she felt euphoric. I, all this stuff. Just everything. Well, you know what? Overall, pretty happy. Exhilarated, euphoric, love, exhilarated. Jeez, she was caught up in a new romance. Exhilarated getting in an argument. I've never been exhilarated getting in an argument. Um, relations? Look at this shit. This is kind of neat. So she likes tossing the woodworker. You have a fisher dwarf, a metal crafter. Okay. Personality. She has a sum of patience and a good feel for social relationships. But she has an iffy memory, bad intuition, meager creativity, and a large deficit of willpower. Oh, great. Wonderful. I, love, I like that this... I do like this, right? Like, there's, like, a whole background on every character. Kind of neat. Traits, traits, values. She dreams of mastering a skill. Then needs. God. Imagine actually understanding all your dwarf's needs. I could never I could never do that. All right, now what? Important and sometimes urgent information is given as an alert on the left side of the screen. Oh, it literally says alert. There have been several already <laughs> and I haven't read them. Hover over an alert icon to see the information. 
Left click on the alert for recentering options and right click to dismiss an alert. All right, let's click on it. You can recenter on certain announcements. Right click to close. This is an example of urgent alert. These are very important. Ignore them at your peril. Okay. Dismiss the red alert. How the hell do I dismiss it now? This? Um. What the hell am I doing wrong here? There is nothing to catch in the central swamps. There's nothing to catch in the northern swamp. Shit. What did I just do? What the hell did I just do? Oh, shit. <laughs> what did I just do? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What did I do? I want to go home. I don't know how to get there now. For my peeps. Oh good. Okay. We're not we're not far from them. How the hell do I dismiss this? Hover over an alert icon, see the information. Left click on the alert for recenter options. Right click to dismiss an alert. I did that. Oh, just right click on top of it. Duh. Preparing for a caravan. You may need supplies before the coming of winter. To trade with the autumn caravan, you must build a trade depot. From the build menu. You need something of value to trade. Pff, yeah. Crafts are an easy way to make a lot of trade goods quickly. Make the appropriate workshop with workshops and crafts. An obvious material to use to make crafts is rock. You dig down enough layers, you will find a near infinite amount of boulders of various kinds, as well as some rough gems, if you are lucky. Gems can be cut at the jeweler's workshop and crust them on crafts and other items to add even more value. Yeah, I, I, usually, I think Apollo is like the god of light. There's a lot more to learn. <laughs> no shit. As you enter new menus, there will be information and tips. The help button at the top of the screen. The help button at the top of the screen contains more guides. Click it now and this tutorial will be concluded. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. So there's there's tutorials galore. Like literally galore. Okay. Now the now the losing and remember losing is fun. Okay. The game is opened up and you can do whatever you choose. If you'd like a goal, try to become a barony and a mountain home. More likely your dwarves will starve unless you read the first few guides here. God. Survival? That's hilarious. Remember, losing is fun. It's fun for everyone. Oh, at least this is short-ish. In order to keep your citizens alive uh, in the unforgiving wilderness, they will need shelter, drink, and food. Use the arrow at the top of this window to minimize the tutorial when it obscures your view. Well, she was in the she was in the in the trailer, right? She's literally like at the beginning of the trailer training. You didn't watch the trailer?
I kind of slipped up when I did like my reaction thing to it. But yeah, that's that's uh, definitely her in the in the very opening of the trailer. Uh, Shelta, by now you should have room underground where your residents can hide from the creatures above. Make sure they spend their free time down there. You will need to use the zones menu. Create a meeting area. Later, you may try to try the burrows menu. Create a safe place for your civilians to hide when real trouble comes. Labor. Some essential tasks must be assigned from the labor menu. Click here and make sure you have a minor woodcutter, a fisher dwarf. Fishered, or fisher dwarf. If you haven't suffered any casualties, you should have these labors assigned already. But if one of these brave workers falls, you'll need to assign somebody to these duties. Makes sense. Okay, so that's where we do that. Okay, good, good, good. I just did my best impression of a falling tree while out for a walk. It was a long fall, but I escaped un un unharmed. So you, you took a tumble? Oh, well, at least you're doing all right. Drink. There are two ways to make drinks for your residents. The main way is by brewing alcohol, of course. This is done by building a still build menu. I feel like I'm taking on way more than I should be. Uh, once the still is constructed, click on it and add the task. Brew a drink from plant or fruit. If you have no suitable plants, you may try planting or gathering. The task allows also requires a barrel from the carpenter's workshop. If you survive until the caravan comes, you may also trade for drinks or plants there. The number of drink rations can be seen at the top of the screen. Absent alcohol in warmer weather, you can designate a water source from the zones menu at the river or pond so that your residents have water to drink. You'll want one of these anyway for other purposes, like cleaning. In certain workshop tasks, you may find water underground. Yeah, water underground sounds terrible. Rolled ankle a bit? Ooh, that sucks. And then the ground required inspection. This is a lot of uh, a lot to take in. Okay, um, so so it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to learn. Right, right. Like it's a ton to take in. Where even is the zoning menu? Bad as that sounds. The zoning menu. No, to place zones, to establish meeting areas, pastures, and more. Okay. Sounding a lot better. I am. I am feeling quite a bit better, Mom. Well, why don't we zone this as just like a drinking hole for now? You know, just like uh, this is going to be the watering hole, a water source. Your citizens will drink at a water source zone. Or gather water using buckets for various tasks. This is useful if you don't have a functioning well. And you want to control exactly where the tasks take place. Okay, well, let's do that. And everybody wants their own bedroom. That's so annoying. A nightly good night story? Well, you're never here. For, you, you, you go to bed before me, even though you're three hours behind me. How am I going to? How am I going to do that? I'm going to say goodnight to you. Zones are areas that they... Oh, this just like popped up like that. Like it's a tutorial. That's interesting. Uh, zones are placed uh, much like stockpiles. Unlike stockpiles, multiple zones can overlap. Oh, that's interesting. Certain zones like bedrooms can be placed several at a time. Just make sure you have the correct furniture placed in the rooms with doors or vertical entries. Separating each room before you begin. Right, we got to build doorways. What a bummer. Okay, so I want I want to like make this a water source, like right here, you know. Oh, like yeah. Let's just let's just let's just call this what it is. It's a water source, okay? In 
until my people die. Okay. Now. I want more wood. I want someone to go like chop, chop, chop. Right? So we're gonna we're gonna make someone like chop down some trees. This this is like, you know, we got we got we gotta chop down a little bit of tree. Maybe I'm telling them to chop down too many trees. I don't know. Right? He's he's getting to work. Now are these friendly cats and dogs? That's the question I got. Nobody is chopping down trees. Why is this? Someone's chop. Okay, there we go. There we go. Excuses. Everybody's tired. Everybody's sick and tired. Okay, great. Um, should we? Yeah, they're a little bit different there, Crevice. They're, it's a it's a bit different. And they don't have like, uh, like true official, like official official like much official stuff about them. So that's like the game. The game devs are able to do whatever they want, kind of thing. They're able to like treat things pretty loosely. Um, we need to build more beds. Like absolutely. No one has dysentery, so that's good. Um, but yeah, how was how did how did this work again? How do I, uh, workshop? How do I do that again? How do I build stuff? I've already forgotten how the hell to build things in the workshop. <laughs> like, how the hell do I do this again? Oh, right here. Okay. I really should make a door. Like, make some doors. Well, then the other characters, uh, Mel uh, Melanoi should as well, because they're siblings. <laughs> uh, we're going to make some doors, because I, I feel like I need to make bedrooms for these people. Like, I just feel like I do. Like, I could be wrong about that, but I do feel like I need to do that. You know, like this guy's snoozing, but like I haven't designated this a bedroom. Um, and how big do bedrooms need to be? Probably only like a few, few uh, sizes. I don't know. Maybe the zoning menu actually tells you that. Does it tell you how big it has to be if you go to like a bedroom? Uh, your citizens will sleep in bedrooms. It should include a bed. <laughs> Try to enclose it with walls and or doors. Do not overlap with other rooms. Yeah, and as you'll find that, like, it's like... So, like, of course, it's... Treated pretty loosely, right? Because in the game, it's Hades is his father. So that would treat that that would send someone that's like a big Greek myth nerd off 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 a off a ledge. We're gonna we're gonna try and make some rooms. I guess I don't know. This is probably way bigger than it ought to be, and I don't know how to build walls yet. Um, and then maybe we go deeper. And I'm not going to go, like, crazy out here. So I'll just, like, I'm going to do, like, a... Uh, I don't know. That doesn't take up much space. Like, what if we just do, like, little... Little... Little tiny spots like that, you know? They each want their own room kind of thing. Or at least if I make a few bedrooms, maybe I'll be happy with that. I don't know. This is gigantic to call a bedroom. Boulders, I gotta figure out how to do that. Am I making mole people? Well, we're dwarves. 
Ethan, how you doing? Everybody's just sleeping in this one single bed, and I feel bad for them. I do. I feel bad for them that they're sleeping in that single bed. Um, where was that placement thing? Place structures, items, furnitures. Do I have another bed to place? I think I do. I think I do. Sharing is caring. These guys don't want to share, though. Oh, maybe I don't have another bed for them. Oh, I do. Okay, we're good. Yeah, there. See? We're putting another bed down. The bed's always going to be warm. Well, now we got a different bed. We're going to put a bed in here as well. I do apologize that I still am learning the game. I have never played. Establish burrows to organize work, living spaces, in larger fortresses. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. No, they won't be in your book. Because they're it's like the Orphic myths or something like that. They won't be in your book. They don't have like official, official, like official mythos. Like they really don't. Like they don't have like some like deep, deep lore or anything like that. Oh, wrong thing. I didn't. Why am I still doing this? Why am I? What? Yeah, I did set it up. I did set it up. Um, I have to put some work into it still. But I thought it was important to set it up, right? Because some people really, like, when they when they support, they want to support on specific platforms or whatever. So it, I thought it was important to set th that up. But how did I already forget where the, hell I'm, where the hell I'm placing beds and doors and such? It's this. Okay. Doors. Do I, I do I, ha did I build a door yet? Have I done that? Door? Hatch? Hatches can be placed at the tops of stairwells. Or above ra Oh, that could be useful to keep the critters out. So do I have a door? If I put this here, is this like... We, we officially... We officially have like a door. Oh, my internet kind of like chugged there. I apologize. Peach door? That, that looks more like a hatch than a door. Did I screw this up? That doesn't look like a door. Can I zone this as a bedroom? I know it's huge. I know it's huge. But whatever, right? No, I'm talking in general, not just the Hades universe. Like for what I what I'm talking about, like the character Zagreus and um I think it's uh well um I always pronounce her name wrong. Mel Melanoi and their other sister, her twin sister, like Macaria or Mac Macara or whatever, they don't really have, there's not much to them. Okay, so we did that, right? I I'm calling this a bedroom. We can paint it? And I know it's huge. I know it's huge. Accept it. Oh, I put a bed in there when I did that. Wasn't well, that silly? Wait, so if I do that here? Or does that just mark? Uh, maybe that's just marking. It. Oh, it's just marking it. Okay, I got it. So when I go to zones, it'll show it as a zone. It's a bedroom. Got it. Yeah, and then there's a there's a third sibling as well. Um, I'm going to put another bed down. Ha! 
add a new task. Make a menacing wood spike. I'm gonna have to. Uh, people are just gonna have to keep on like chopping wood. I can't help that. More doors. I'm only making three bedrooms. Each each person doesn't need their own damn bedroom, do they? I mean, really. Oh, look at all this. Okay, so I have to tell them to actually store this. I thought I thought they would do it. A oh, crap. Um, now I'm forgetting how to do that. How do you tell them to store this? Or is it full? This looks like it's got loads of wood. I should probably make a big room for wood. Just to guess. There's a lot in this game. Like, no joke. Um... The OG Dwarf game? trying to think here like i have to store this shit i guess i need to make a bigger room like i need to I, i'm gonna have to designate more of this as wood like can i fill this entire room with wood set plant gathering orders should probably do that that wasn't in the tutorial i don't know how long i'll be live actually tonight I just wanted to kind of jump into this and see what was up. Gather, gather. Blackberry bushes. Strawberry, strawberry plants, prickleberries. I don't know what the hell that is, but we're going to gather it. I don't know what that is, but we're gathering it. Here, somebody gather all that stuff. Get after it. Oh, everybody's just, like, going for it, eh? How do I set fishing orders? Workers, this workshop is free for anybody to use. What if we make some, like... Trying to think here what other kind of rooms we need. What other kind of rooms do we need? We need pens, pastures for livestock. A meeting area is probably super important. This important zone is where citizens will gather to socialize. Locations such as taverns, temples, hospitals, and the like are established. Oh, God. All right, well, let's 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 get that done. Let's get that done. I don't know how big it's going to have to be. But we're going to do that. I'm going to build it off of here. I guess. Or this way. We'll go down here. All right. Um, it's, it's, it's very in-depth. Um, I'm going to make this that big? I don't know. In-depth, I'm going to just call it. It's got a lot, a lot to learn. It's all, it's kind of intimidating, to be honest. Um, like, especially when you're streaming your first, like, experience of it. I will say that. Good work. It's a bit intimidating. We're going to bake this into like a, a meeting area. That's the plan anyway. 
Now, zoning it. Meeting area. Oops. Do that again. The meeting area. Wait, how big does it have to be? Why is that not okay? Good enough? Good enough. Okay, 15. This bedroom is gigantic. It's it's 20. This thing is only 15. An office? Multiple beds for dormitories will not belong to particular citizen. Oh, I'll make that a dormitory. It's huge. It's huge. These are going to be bedrooms. I don't know how to actually assign it to a specific person, but we'll figure that out. Oh, we can we can we have to make a zone for fishing as well. Let's do that. Well, right, we've done that for like a water source. Let's make this like a fishing area. I don't know that. Huh? Except. Rimworld vibes. I have heard this is like the grandfather to Rimworld. Which I've never played. So I'm like very new. Crap, I forgot how to gather stuff. I forgot how to make people gather shit. Um, how do you make people set plant gathering? I mean, they just left all the berries on the fucking ground. <laughs> um... And all this wood is just like left here. There is a help section. Wood cutting stockpiles. We have to read stockpiles again. Next. I've already done, I've already like done a stockpile, but we've made a stockpile. You got the Dwarf Fortress. I did. I did. I'm learning. It's it's complicated, that's for sure. Like, for, for like, a brand new player. Like, I'm a full-on noob, right, Edward? So, like, you know. Place all stockpile. I have a stockpile. I just just don't know how to pick things up. I don't know why my, my people left the berries laying around. Maybe my stockpile's not big enough. Maybe that's, maybe that's all it is. Maybe I just have to make my stockpile bigger. Oh, maybe I have to make this, maybe I should just like make this whole thing bigger. What if I like, you know, like that? Say like, have adder, just throw shit in there. Oh. Oh, okay, now I got it, I got it, okay, I got it, I, okay. Well, we're just gonna say all for now. That's what I was missing. I threw wood there. We'll eventually. Now, will they just like start gathering shit? Maybe. Oh my God, there it is. They put a door on it on their own? Wow. Or did they just stockpile a door? They found the meeting area <laughs> that has nothing in it. A door? The apple wood door. And another door. There, beauty. Place them. Okay, yeah, they were storing a doorway. We're gonna have to make this bigger. This is, uh, this definitely needs to be bigger. Um, like 100%. Your storage area, uh, it's gonna have to be, like, gigantic. There's no way. There's just no way. That this can't be huge. Uh, the, the, the livestock are coming in? I mean, okay. Okay. Now, let's, let's get rid of some of these boulders. What are we doing with these things? What are we doing with all these boulders? And these guys are just like, you know, 
hanging out. There's a lot going on in this meeting area. And I feel like I don't like that the the wild animals came. Siltstone. How do I how do I get rid of you? Mine it? How do I get rid of that? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is siltstone. Uses. Making furniture, building. Now how do I how do I how do I chop 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 that? That's tree chopping. Graving, carving, fortification. Okay, now well, I'm gonna have to look in here. Planting other food sources, bins. Trade, happiness and stress. Oh, we're not worried about that at all. We're gonna die. Um How do we how do we how do we get rid of the stuff? Ore? Smelting? Is that what it's under? Metal bar no, that's way that's way outside of my uh skill level right now in the game. I just want to know how to get rid of the, the boulders that are laying around in here. That's all I want, man. Maybe I'll place some of this here. We'll go like this. A little bit like that. Stockpile area. Animals. Place animals in there? Food. Only food. Add them to the stockpile? I gotta teach. I gotta learn. I gotta get my people to like actually like smash it. I, I, I thought. I don't know. Maybe not. They're going to get food now, hopefully. Is that what they're doing? Please? Yeah, look at you go. Now. Open the labor menu. What's that do? So this is how you put make people do specific jobs? Work details? So everybody starts with like the basic stuff, I guess. We should make it so that we so that we're doing something like for the mason, metal crafter. We should make that stuff, I guess, right? A lot going on. A lot going on here. Um I don't know why I put my workshop here, but I did. Animal training, dormitory, barracks, dining hall. Maybe we should make a dining hall. Your citizens will eat at this zone. When not assigned to a particular citizen, citizens without their own dining hall will eat here. Tables and adjacent chairs should be included. Oh, well, that sounds fun. We could probably do that. Dining hall makes sense. I just wish I knew how to get rid of all those rocks. I'm sure it's straightforward. I just, you know, don't know what I'm doing. Well, we're going to mine all the way through here. And make a dining hall. Thanks a lot, everybody, that's come through. I appreciate it. Now we'll do like, uh, I don't think it needs to be gigantic, right? Even that's probably like bigger than it needs to be. Whatever. Because we have to make tables and chairs now. Right? So like if we go in here. There. Add a new task. Where's our table? Make a table. Make a wooden table? Yeah. Chair? Wooden chairs? Yes. Well, let's make a few chairs. We still have wood piled all over the place because I haven't quite figured out what the hell I'm doing. Oh, 
Oh, maybe I can... Can I just, like... Oh, let's move it up in, in priority. I see. Okay. We can do some more wood chopping. You never have too many wood chop, right? You never you can never chop too much wood. I'm gonna assume you can chop too much wood. Chopping trees. Alright. Now I'm just not like efficient yet with my time, that's all. It's gonna take time to learn. Um furniture table? Put it over there. Applewood table. Throw some chairs there. Beach chairs. Let's see. Are we going to set up the dining hall or what? Look at us go. Look at these guys. Look at you guys go. Oops. I think I made another chair. Totally did. Look at us. We have crushed it. We are we are doing things. Now did I actually make this an eating area? I don't think I did. I don't think I actually did zone this as like a dining hall. I think I just made it and then threw the shit in it. Yeah, I totally did. Oh. Don't do that. Um, repaint the zone. Oh, why did I do that? Oh! Okay, 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 okay. No, it's not a bedroom. No, cancel. It's not a bedroom. It's a dining hall. Paint it. Repaint it. Like that. Dwarves, this sounds promising. Yeah, I'm not very good because I just started Guillermo, but it's a cool game. There, now it's officially marked as a dining hall. Even this part, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, let's get out of that. So now, now they officially have a place to have their nom noms. They've got some rooms. I haven't designated these as bedrooms. We should zone those as bedrooms. Right? Ah, shit. Um, let's do it like that. Except. Bedroom. Except. There. Now, I haven't assigned anybody to it. Can I actually assign you to it? Oh, I can. And if I do assign a dwarf to it, then my other dwarfs are going to be kind of screwed. Unless I make this a dormitory. Dormitory should include multiple beds and will not belong to a particular citizen. I think that's what this should be, actually. Not a bedroom. It should be a dormitory. Because it's gigantic. Overlapping. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. How, I, I don't know how to make it un, un like Oh, well. Oh, well. If they don't like it, they can kiss my ass. Um, there's that. Okay, we're back out here. We've chopped more trees. Silt stone boulder. Like, how do we how do we wreck that stuff? Then woodcutter. Wall smoothing. Set wall smoothing, engraving, track, carving, fortification order. It's interesting. Falling roots for crap um, minecarts. 
We've got lots to learn. Like, a lot. A wooden spike. Is this a weapon? Make enormous wooden corkscrew. Thought this was a family channel? What did I say? Crap? <laughs> the only reason I don't swear much is because I don't want YouTube to, like, demonetize my channel. Wooden crutch? What are we going to do with that? People get injured, maybe, I guess? What's going on, Ash? How you doing? Step ladder, table, training axe, spear, sword, weapon rack. Interesting. Wooden bin. Like, I don't know what some of this stuff I would... Like, I don't know what I'm going to use this stuff for, right? Barrel, I think we would need for, like, making booze. Let's have a look at more rooms and stuff. I think that's going to be more of a... I don't know what to put in this, in the meeting area. Oh, you know, did I ever... I think I did actually... I did zone it as that. Okay. Family channel. The family channel. Back on the solid food. Nice. Still can't smoke or chew tobacco, though. Makes me antsy and overeat. I feel that. I feel that. We can do pens and pastures. Certain livestock need to graze on grass. Assign these animals to a pasture zone. No fencing needed. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's make a pasture zone. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing there? You're like in between. Wor in, in be you're in the water. Are you swimming? What are you doing? Oh, God. Is that, 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 I feel like that's bad news. I feel like that's like a really bad thing. Okay, let's just do like this. Looks grassy, right? I don't know. Call that. Call that the, the pen pasture. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going there? Stray dogs? I don't think stray dog needs to live in a pasture, does it? A yak? How am I supposed to know what creature needs to be there? They're not stray. They're living in my basement. Like they're living inside the inside my tunnel. I, I'm gonna say these guys. Ah, nice. You're gonna get it, eh? It's a really good game. But we're gonna put you there and you there. Just get there, okay? Just get in the pasture. Do it. The the bunny rabbit, the stray doe rabbit. Get there, horse. You can go there as well. The dogs and the cats, I don't know. Horse. Two humped camel. We have quite the diverse group of animals here, don't we? Unnamed pen pasture, we can name them? Interesting. Wait, did that just cancel all that? It didn't, did it? Okay, good. Are they gonna actually go and like chill there? Well, they are. Good, good. Get out of my house. You don't need to live inside my basement. It's a really good game, Ash. Like I was playing it again uh, a little bit uh, yesterday. Okay, so we've done that. We've done a water source, a pit pond. Animals assigned to pit pond zones are dumped into the pit. But we'll leave the zone afterward if possible. If the pit is des designated as a pond, your citizen will attempt to fill it with water using buckets. Yeah, a lot of those games get boring really fast. They really do. Like the tycoon type games, they get boring super fast. True story. What's the office do? An officer study is required for certain official tasks, such as approving work orders and bookkeeping. A chair or throne is required for these functions. Animal training? 
Animals that are capable of being trained receive their training at this zone. Once they have been assigned to a, a, a trainer from the pet's livestock menu, generally a piece of meat is required. Boom. To see citizens, we have a tune. Gather fruit. Plant gathering zones are used in locations where plants will be gathered frequently. Oh. I still have no clue how we're how we're supposed to break the stuff. You have struck tetrahydrate or hedrite. Yellow jasper. What the I I mean this is probably this is the rough hewn tetrahedrite. I don't know what that is. Twenty minutes till I lay down for two hours to on my phone? I feel that. Oh, and this is, this is the same stuff. Okay. Lots of Steam games are like that. Yeah, for sure. I want to know what, what I'm supposed to do with this silt stone. How do I break it? Like, how do I, uh, how do I, you know, do anything with it? Removing, remove mining, wood cutting, plant gathering, smoothing orders. Oh, no, that's just like removing orders. Well. Like, I want that broken. <laughs> you know? Like, I want someone to go and get rid of these boulders. Do they ever just, like, is there ever anything I can do to get rid of them? Somebody help me. Um, yeah, I haven't got a clue how to get rid of the silt stone. We're just going to pretend like it's uh, just there, I guess. I don't know. Nobles and administrator menu. What the hell is that? So we have the expedition leader, and then you can have a sheriff, a hammerer, a manager, a, sh a chief medical dwarf, a broker, a bookkeeper, and a messenger. My goodness. My goodness. You can go really in depth, can it? I feel like I still need more here. Oh, maybe we are storing this stuff. Are we storing this? It is stored. Yeah, we are storing it. We just don't have space for it all. What if I... What if I go like back this way and make just like a gigantic storage area? What if I do that? What what if I what if I just go like you know what we're making like a huge storage area for like stuff? Or like I make like a siltstone room? I don't know. Like it's everywhere. Literally everywhere. What is this? Dig a ramp on this level going up? A channel. My goodness. These guys put a lot of a lot of work into this game. I'm making another stockpile room. This thing, uh, this is getting ridiculous. She's having a nap. Do I have any more beds? I'm going to put a bed down here. I made this a dormitory. Chest. Chests and coffers are used for personal bedrooms, for storing non-clothing objects. They're also used in for... Uh, what? They're also used in some zone-based locations like taverns, hospitals... And libraries for storing useful materials. Nobody's died yet, which is interesting because I really haven't gotten like a lot of food. Um, like if I click on that, I don't have one made. Okay. Oh, can you just like click on it and they'll make it? Needs empty box. Make a workshop first. No access to empty box. Pfft. Oh, yeah. Okay, there. Um. Oh, right. I was going to put a bed in there. I got sidetracked. That's one of my, my problems with this game is going to be like, I get sidetracked incredibly easy. Needs a bed. 
<laughs> I don't have a bed. Okay, we, we, we gotta make some stuff. I get sidetracked incredibly easy. Can we really ever have too many beds? Right? Squirrel. I'm just like that squirrel, you know? Like, I, I, I'm so bad. Like, if you give me a game that's got, like, a bunch of tasks to do, I am just, like, the worst. Oh, yeah, like, we still have piles of wood just laying around here. What if I make, like, a wood stockpile up here? Would that make sense? I feel like that would make sense. What if I just, like, go like this, and I go, like, you know what? I'm making a big old wood stockpile. Prisoners convicted in the justice menu? You can literally make a prison? It's interesting. Right? Like, what if I, what if I, like, you know... Go like this. I'm like, I'm making this a stockpile. I'm calling this a wooden stockpile. Did I not name it what I wanted it to be? Crap. Tammy the squirrel. Me like cookie. Why is it not letting me choose the type of stockpile? Why? Do I have to make it first? Maybe I have to make it first. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, wood. Wood. Just wood. Just wood. That's it. Put all the wood in there, please. Ah, it looks like my dad's backyard now. That's a whole lot nicer. We'll take that. Now let's gather some more crap. I mean berries. Dense knot grass, cherry flowers. Blackberry bushes? We'll gather some stuff. Purple amaranths, amaranth leaves. I don't know what that is. I don't think I can eat it though. Cedar sapling, definitely not eating that. Definitely not eating that. Prickleberry? Oh, yeah, you know what? We're going to eat that. Asparagus. My goodness. Hemp. We're going to eat some hemp. Dead prickleberries. Well, that's no good. Leeks. We're just picking everything now. I'm just picking it all. Dead leeks. Pfft. The dead leeks. Peach tree sapling. Oh, my goodness. And we can plant stuff, too, right? Potato plants? Just, like, gather some taters. Oh. Yeah, look at us go. These these guys are just like... I would like to actually eat that. Heck. I would like to eat the yak. Spring beans. My goodness, we got like all kinds of stuff growing here. What are you doing? Oh, you're gathering. Okay. Make more stuff. Build more things. Menacing wood spike. A wooden altar. No clue what we do with that. Four wooden blocks. Floodgate, hatch, minecart. I kind of want to make these training things. Wooden training axe. Spear. Sword. What's that sound? I don't know what just happened. No weapon rack. We at least are, are we are at least making some progress here in a wild, wild world that I have no clue what I'm doing. We haven't died yet, but I haven't done anything too risky either. We haven't dug any deeper since the tutorial. Topping trees. What's going on down here? 
Anybody doing anything? We could make this dining hall a wee bit larger, I guess. Oh, right. I was going to make this a... Uh, just like a general storage again, I guess. I'd like to see if we can get, like, all the stinking... Silt stone out of my hallways. It's driving me nuts. Can you li can you actually make it pick that stuff up? Custom. Um. I never really looked that much into Clan Folk. It's just made by the same developers, or it's the same uh, publishers. That's all I know. Uh, there's literally nothing. Oh, well, we're going to do this. Because I don't know any better, we're going to just make it all. Yeah, what, what the heck is that? Copper mace? Where did I get copper mace from? Look at all the stuff we've got. What is this? Gypsum? Where are we getting all this gypsum and stuff from? What What is this, a nail? Spore tree crutch. We're putting beds in here now. Okay. If I make enough bedrooms, I could actually, like, you know, let people have their own rooms. It would be an interesting concept, really. If I let people have their own bedrooms, pretty, it could be, it could be pretty neat, you know. Um... Make one there. It's like, you know, letting your kids have their own bedrooms. Like, we got piles of crap. I didn't make a doorway. Oh, well. Bed. Bed. Almond wood beds. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. I guess that's just years going by or something. I don't know. What are you? Built stone boulder. Look at all this wood. Like, God. <laughs> Probably more wood than I'm ever going to need. Okay. Um, you need to build some doors now. I'm going to build a bunch of doors. Probably, like, it's probably just, like, ideal to build in, like, bulk. That's my guess. You know? Like, just build, like, a ton of stuff. Can you really go wrong? When you're just starting out, Whoops. Well, now we went and lost our place. Where the hell does my uh, people? There it is. Probably going to play against the storm again uh, tomorrow-ish. Tomorrow-ish? Or gathering. I don't know how much gathering I should do. And I think you could like mark the entire area for gathering if you really wanted to. Oh, there's no blackberries on that. Oops. Wait, can I just like click and drag over all everything? You know, like can I click and drag over this crap when I do this? Can I just go like boop? Oh, you totally can. Look at you. And they're all just going for it. Okay, we learned something. I would like to put the weapon rack and the weapons in a room. It started raining. The weather has cleared. You have struck Tetra... Yeah, gypsum. Yeah, yeah. I should probably actually read this stuff. 
This is an example, urgent alert. Okay, that's fine. An animal has grown to become a stray yak bull. Do we kill them and eat them? The metal crafter Ingish Mengfolist and the planter Ushat, Ushat, yeah, Ushat, uh, Nishthadis have married. Congratulations! Oh my goodness, they got married. The expedition leader Amost and the woodworker have become married also. Everybody's getting hitched. And we got a carpenter. Tossed became a carpenter. Good for them. Good for them. Congratulations to all the little dwarfs. Amazing. That they haven't died yet. Really. The hell's this? Pigtail thread. I don't even know where they're gathering half of this stuff from. Manor Lord? I don't know if I've heard of that one. Well, we put it, we're putting a door there. That. Now we'll zone it as a bedroom. Boop, boop, boop. I haven't designated anybody to it, and I could. Yeah, let's do it. So it puts them both in there because they're hitched, I guess? Okay, that's useful. It's good to know. What's this? Sign a newer existing location to this zone? Nah, we don't need to do that. Okay. Should I go deeper? Like, just for fun? What the hell's this? What are they complaining about? She was grouchy when caught in the rain. Oh, I don't care about that. Adequate woodcutter. Has no job. You got no job? Oh, we went up in population by two people. Interesting. I wasn't even I haven't even looked at the top. Like if I'm being honest, I haven't looked up here at all yet. Still waiting for a good dwarven city builder. Have yet to see one that utilizes clans. Underdark monsters, crafting, trading. It'd be uh, pretty neat. I would like to see see something. I, I, I've always enjoyed like dwarves and stuff. Like, eh, look at you, you're so happy. Um, work orders, open the labor menu. So this is where we like give people jobs. Generally, almost every task will be available for every citizen. How do I give you a job? We got people that are looking for a job. How do I find the people that have no job? Do I click on them specifically? I want. You have no job. How do I give you a job? Customize this uh, creature's this this creature this creature's nickname and profession. Nick, they don't have a profession. How do I give them a job? Labor? Oh. Well, it says here you're a woodcutter. You do have a job. I just haven't given you anything to do. Is that what that means? Play make-believe. Grew up reading Dragonlance series books and Forgotten Realms. It's all under the Dungeons and Dragons type of stories. Yeah, see, I didn't read that stuff. None of these guys are doing anything. You, Shat, doesn't have a job? Interesting. You chat's busy though. They're frustrated. They're in love. Felt some tenderness talking with a lover. What should we do here? Um we should probably crap. Oh boy. I just realized like there's like ground out here. Can you like dig out the side? And like just walk out of the hole? That's interesting. We go deeper? Maybe we should go deeper. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do let's go deeper. That sounds safe. Let's make a secondary staircase like uh 
here? Somewhere? Or can, wait, do you just go like this? I apologize if you're frustrated with it. Still don't know. You shat, is shat, will shat. Try the Chronicles of Malice Darkblade. Is that a book? How you doing, Daniel? Okay, how did we make the how did we make the staircase in the first place? Was it a digging order? Oh yeah, right here. Dig a stairwell. Ah oh, crap. How am I supposed to know where the other stairwell was? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Let's we'll start here, perhaps. Ah, got it. Nailed it. Got it. Okay, so we go down one. Right? Must span multiple elevations, so you have to go like again. Oh boy. I did go multiple elevations. Didn't I? I I don't think I know what I'm doing. Oh crap. Oh crap. Did I screw this up? Are we built are we digging like way down? We did. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh, that's kind of neat looking. Interesting. Book, dark library kind of fantasy. I enjoy some... People are going down the hole, I think. Like, hey, what the hell's down here? Rough hewn silt staircase. Well, let's... Let's, let's make a thing down here. Long corridor. Yes. Let's make a long corridor for someone to work on and then we'll work off of it. Somebody? Anybody come down? Anybody? Hey, there we go. Look at you. Who are you? Kogan. She felt satisfied at work. Then we'll put some different stuff down here. Maybe we'll put a library in. I don't know. Like a temple? I don't know what they got. What they can put down here. We got two, four people that are... Three people that are like, eh. They're kind of meh, you know? There. She did that. She did that thing. If we look at zones, what can we put down here? Dungeon? Prisoners convicted in the justice menu can be incarcerated. At a chain or metal cage in the dungeon zone. No sandbags at the zone. The garbage dump. Items designated for dumping. Make a barracks? Rain, sleep, and store equipment there. Make an archery range. That'd be fun. I haven't made an office yet. Probably should do that as well. Well, let's make a barracks just for fun. I know I, know I probably should have done it on the other level, but whatever. Also, I bet if we dig underneath the water, we'll flood the whole damn place out, right? That's likely what would happen, I think. If we dig underneath some of these uh, lakes, we probably would run the risk of flooding. Let's go like, I'm not worried about it being big. Make it big. We do have like training equipment that we can put in here. I have to assume that's when I when I hear people say that they like flooded out their mine, that that's what they did. G and F is always fun. The dwarf in search of a good death and never finding it. That sounds hilarious. I don't know what to put in this meeting area. What the hell do I put in here? They just go there and chill. Like the dogs are there. This this stray water buffalo is hanging out there. It's just like chilling. 
Did everything here die yet? No, nothing. No, not yet. What if I put the stray water buffalo in there? Do that? Yeah, he's just like, he's in the basement. Like, get in there. You know, like, uh, he, he, he can get in that spot. I'm happy with this. There. He doesn't need to be hanging out in the the thing look at all this wood no clue what i'm doing still spiked wooden ball let's make one work screw i mean i just want to make things a bucket you know what a bucket would probably be good for like water stuff an altar it doesn't it doesn't tell you what you're gonna use these items all for like you know a bucket I'm assuming I'm gonna use it for water this is all the stuff we've made made a ton of stuff an enormous almond wood corkscrew you just know that's gonna be useful So I did make this a dormitory. Let's assign these rooms to other people as well. That keeps coming up. I'm going to let those things keep on coming up until I'm like 100% confident that I know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, did I already assign it to this person? Or they just claimed it as their own. They're just claiming things as their own? I didn't assign it to these people. And this is an over this is overlapping because it's got like a bedroom as well. Whatever. Can I remove this zone permanently? Yeah, now it's just a dormitory. There we go. You can put another table and chairs in here. Again, don't know what the hell happens in the meeting area. They just hang out, I guess, and wait for the, their chance to come in. Um, We could put some bedrooms down further. Where did I put that? Oh, here. What is this? Rough... Onyxis? This is rough onyxis. I have no idea what that is. Or how, how to get it out of my area. Military? Archery target. Weapon rack. Yeah. Weapon rack. Put it in there. I have one weapon rack. 100%. Are people supposed to sleep in there? I don't know. Because I was going to zone it as a barracks. Squad should be assigned to a barracks. The squad can be set to train, sleep, store equipment there. Oh man, you can't make them sleep there. Okay. I'm calling this a gigantic bear. Except. Select how squads will use the space. Um... Archery range? I don't know. An archery range. Oh, wow. I, like... Hey, take care, Ash. I saw that you followed me on Twitch. Appreciate it. I've been having a hell of a time getting Twitch to work lately. Okay, well, we made that an archery range. Actually, not going to stream too much longer here. Um, can I put weapons into this thing? Oh, we can. Okay. Uh, cedar weapon rack. Item is permanent. Part of the building. Or bid. And visibility tags. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, we, we got started here. All right. 
I'm actually going to call it a stream. It's 10 o'clock to my usual end time. Guys, thanks a lot, everybody that came through. Really appreciate it. This is my first look at Dwarf Fortress. It's pretty neat. Complicated, but neat. Appreciate everybody that came through. I'm going to go get some rest. And probably against the storm tomorrow. I'm guessing. I'm thinking. Thanks, guys. Appreciate everybody coming through. Again, I know I already said it a bunch of times. Whether you lurked or chatted. Thanks a lot.